Sean Sport in podcast form. Well, the big news in Australian sport is the AFL about to announce that the uh, license for Tasmania will go ahead and, you know, they'll be in the competition in 2028. We're going to get stuck into that later on. I think sure. it's fantastic just off at the top. But international sport, everybody. Let's go to the NBA Finals, which is a big deal, obviously, at the moment. Yeah. And the LA Lakers are taking on the Golden State Warriors. Yeah. Steph Curry the other day scored 50. Mm. Now, so Steph this is Curry, the derby, essentially, isn't yeah, it? This yeah, is, this is yeah. big. This is big time. So Steph Curry this year, $48 million. Next year, 51. Mm. And in two years' time, or three years' time, he earns $60 million a year. Yeah. So can I just go back? US, 40, US. 48 this year, 51 next year. That doesn't seem like a very high increase. No. Does it? What's but, the CPI on that now? I'm not, I don't know. Um, <laughs> and then... What did you say? Then up to 55? Uh, then yes, 59. 55, then 59 and a oh, half yeah. million dollars. No, I mean, I mean you wouldn't say no to a $3 no. million dollar a year pay rise. <laughs> so he's getting paid $4 million a year more than um, LeBron. Wow. Who, what? Who heads, Steph Curry. Yes. LeBron's getting paid this year $44 million, 0.4. Pray then he LeBron. gets forty six. So there's a $6 million gap there. Then he gets $50 million, $5 million gap. And then he doesn't have a contract beyond that. So he's got a three-year deal. Anthony Davis, who's second to LeBron, AD, they're calling, where's number three? He's getting $37 million. He goes oh. to forty. Then there's a guy called De- D'Angelo Russell. Had a great game the other day, $31 million. And then after that, a couple of dudes are on peanuts, like $6 million, $6 million, Oh, how million. embarrassing. They're absolute peanuts. I mean, how, how do they survive? Absolute peanuts. If, any, if LeBron's going out for, you know, doing the team dinner, he's paying because one of the $6 million guys. Yes. Right, and on top like, of okay, that, well, his endorsement deals are yeah. fairly healthy, I would imagine. Yeah. So if you're going out for dinner, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Nathan, you probably don't know these guys, Andrew okay, Wiggins, they're nice. all champions, no, Damon Green, well. right? So they're plus $25 million each. Yeah. Does that mean that Steph pays even though the others are getting... No, I think if you're, I think twenty five million and above, yes, you can pay your own. If you're under twenty five million and you're with someone that's over twenty five million, they should pay for yours. So right. if the whole team goes out for dinner, mm. who pays for the lower guys? Do um, the other, be, do the yeah, top four the top have to four put in pay for the lower and guys. split it evenly? Straight out. Do they split it evenly, or does Steph Curry pay more of a percentage? Oh, we're getting these into are, a little bit too These are your here, rules. <laughs> yeah. No, I think split evenly. I think split evenly. To the twenty-five and over. Yeah, club. the twenty-five and overs pay for the twenty-five and uh, pay the, for the under twenty-five. Okay, let me just throw this one at you. So let's say Steph Curry's going out for dinner, mm. and he's going out with um, his teammate Gary Payton Jr., who's on eight. Th- well, that's a no-brainer. That's a no-brainer. Steph Curry's you, paying. But so, what if Steph Curry's eight. going out what? with the guy? Steph Curry's going out with the guy who makes twenty-five million. Does he have to oh. pay for him? Oh, okay, okay. No, but it would be nice if he paid for his Uber there and back. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I just Uber. think there's like, you know what I mean? Or a round drivers. of drinks. They're getting drivers, aren't they? A round of drinks? A round of drinks. Yeah, okay. Sure. Or I'll, sure. You, I'll buy you food and, you know, like you pay for the drinks. No, nah, okay. I'm glad we've got the... Yeah, that, that is really yeah no, good. we need to establish... This what money. The... Oh, my God. That money is insane. <laughs> I was going to swear there. It's absolutely I mean, it, it is crazy. But it's then you look mental. at NFL money and it's even more. Yeah. And but, and NFL isn't oh really a global God. sport like Natalie, basketball. Natalie, they play 16 games a year I before know. they hit the finals. That, that, most of the time they're sitting down. Yeah. But the percentages you're getting there, I'll, I'll go through the percentages tomorrow. Actually. No one cares. I've got, it's, it's huge, though, for actually getting there. Now, let's move on to Wrexham, which we feel like oh, we're all yeah, part we're of, don't we, team? Sure. Welcome to Wrexham. Oh, no, I've been trying to get you to watch this for so long. Have you yep. finished it yet? Almost finished it. It is amazing. The thing about Wrexham, and welcome to Wrexham, Disney Plus, you can check it out. It's from Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney, uh, who have bought the team. And um, you would have seen them in the news later. So they're, they're, yeah, they're yeah, just, they've, they won. They've, they've had it for two years now, and they've now gotten out of the bottom division, yeah. which is unbelievable. So it's a they small never thought, Welsh town. Yes. It's extraordinary. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, it's just so, uh, I was talking to you, Sean, about it today. Things that all the top clubs, like Manchester United and all that sort of stuff, they don't have what Wrexham's got, and that is they've got powerhouse Hollywood stars yes. promoting it. Mm. The brands that have moved on, they, they used to be sponsored by a Welsh trailer company. It now that's TikTok. Yeah, it's um, a legit aviation gin, um, aviation gin, rags to riches story. Like yeah. it is, it's that fairy tale but of the, the lowly team making good. But the thing is, no one else will have the fact of Disney Plus money 
which I'm guessing mm. that they're, what they're paid for the series will be going straight back into the club. This is such a unique experience for this sport. Well, 100%, Nathan. You get the whole look at how they've oh done that God. with Disney+. Yeah. Plus. Check it out, everybody. So they won the fourth tier. So it's a fourth tier competition, yes. right? 24 teams in that comp. Yes. So it's really hard to get out as everyone keeps banging on about. But they're doing a ticker tape parade yeah. through the town at the moment at Wrexham. Everyone's going the absolutely ballistic. Yeah. This year they set a record of winning games. So points, they, they won 111 points. Yeah. So Obviously, the team had um, was able to get bulked up due yeah. to the fact that the, They've got the money. big kahunas money. can play. Mm. Get a load of this. So Ryan Reynolds and um, Rob have decided to take the team to Las Vegas as a yes. holiday trip for congratulating yep. them. And next year, or this year coming at the end of the year, they're playing games in the US, huge games against yeah. the LA Galaxy, Manchester United and Chelsea. That's so the realm now, they've been yeah. They're on into. the second bottom tier. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? In the EPL. It's so funny. Mm, hilarious. <laughs> Well, we've got Stephen K. Amos in the studio at the moment. I'm about to do sports, so you can switch off. But I'll get you involved because you've been to Tasmania and they're about to get an AFL licence to be a 19th team in the competition. Tasmania, your thoughts? Oh, that's great because Tasmania needs something uh, to connect it to the mainland. I think the last time I was in Tassie, there was about mm, four people there. And um, it's lovely and green. I'll give it that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, very uh, English countryside, in fact. It's very, yes. I yeah. kind of felt at home-ish in yes. Tassie. Um, but I did ask the person who was organised the show. I said, "Oh, are there any black people in Tasmania?" And she went, <laughs> "Oh, yeah, there's a black Betty." And it took every ounce of strength in my body not to go, mm, "Bam, balam!" <laughs> hey, hey, come on, get around hey, him! Come on, get around him! <laughs> what are they going to call him though? Because yes. the Tassie Devils is owned by Warner Brothers, and Warner, Warner Brothers, Brothers is um, going against, like threatening yes, they, them legally. Yeah. Well, right. you just got to take it on. I think that uh, yeah, because over in New York. I think the New Jersey Devils are an ice hockey team. So you've just got to take Warner Brothers on here. Yeah, but Warner Brothers own Tasmanian Devil. They yeah. don't own, oh, yeah, sorry, they don't own yeah. Devil. They yeah, own nah, Tasmanian. There's got to be some goodwill here, sure. So yeah. what they're saying is the logo, or because because what these other teams, there are some Tas people uh, teams are going as Tasmanian Devil at the moment. They're, yes, they're using the, the Tassie teams. Devil as yes. the image. So they said that it's got to be very, very distinctive. That is and, disgusting. And the other that thing is that it's them, a merchandising way, opportunity yeah. that, that probably Warner Brothers are going to protect, which yeah. you don't get with an under-18 How about Tazzy Wazzy? Ta- the Tazzy Wazzies. The Tazzy Wazzies. Yeah, the Tazzy Wazzies. That's got a nice ring to it. Well, it just seems like penis, doesn't it? Exactly. Like wazzy. <laughs> so, what does the logo look like? Exactly? Me. <laughs> a silhouette of me and my the member. Because I'll be honest, some stereotypes I can live with. <laughs> <laughs> so, West Coast Eagles this week against the Tazzy Wazzies. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, pass I, the ball. I hope they go down as the Tazzy Devils. But as we know, um, Tasmania is a place that's been a heartland of Australian rules football, yeah, and it's right. taken so long to get there. Of obviously, everything financially, everything's had to stack up. But they're going to so, have a really good stadium there now. So now, what happens to like dollars. say Hawthorne, who have a had have had an agreement with yeah. the Tasmanian government? That's obviously going to drop by the wayside. So yeah. where are they going to get their money from now? It's a really good point. So I think they get about three or four hundred thousand dollars a year to go down and mm. um, be sponsored Play by Tasmania. Some games North there. Melbourne are the same. So I reckon that the this would be right over your head here, Stephen. But I reckon what will happen is the AFL will, will front we'll that money. Will compensate them. Mm. I usually, what's happening. Usually mm. I'm the one that's pulling the facial expression yes, that Stephen's that, pulling right now. Staring into it's space, like, smiling. It's, it's, it's like the world stood still for a couple of seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm tonight. If you look at any footage when Sean's talking about sport, you'll always see, if you look, if the footage no. is just me, you'll always see my head look up to the TV. No. <laughs> I just start watching I catch TV. His, I catch his eye for a second <laughs> and then he's gone. Then I go, oh my God, there's a 50 year old goat on the television. Is there any sport that you're into? Do you know what? I know there's words coming out of your mouth. Yes. They're just in a weird order. Um, do you love a was, bit of cricket or anything? I, do you know what? No. And I'll tell you why. I was one of those kids mm. that was always picked last. Oh. Yeah. You know, so, and I, was, I don't know if it's, if it's a universal thing. My PE teacher at school was a maniac. Mm. So, not sure. very encouraging. Um, um, uh, if it was football selection, I'll be, I'll be, my position would be goal hanger. No, that is <laughs> just standing by the goal, having a chat. I was just hanging, hanging out by the goal. Chatting <laughs> the away. Goal hanger. Yeah, goal hanger, just doing nothing. And running, oh my goodness. My teacher once said to me, Oh, you people run, don't you? You, you, you people, people oh. run. You people, I don't oh really run for God. a bus. Really? Yes. Are you serious. 
Do you know, it's a good teacher, a good whether it's sports, whatever, is one person you remember. Yes. A bad teacher, you just never, never live that down. So I wasn't in singing. I wasn't. My, oh my goodness! I remember when our, our uh, musical teacher was selecting the choir. We had to stand up, mm. and as she'd walked, th- listening to our voices, yes. she'd put her hand on our head and sit us down. <laughs> <laughs> did you? Did That's you? That's my life. Did Nathan. you get sat down? I got sat down. And what have you just finished doing? My fair lady in the West End. Thank oh, you. Very yeah. In your face, music Don't teacher. You wish you could find out where she is and whatever she's doing, just walk up with your hand on her head and, and go, sit her and down. Go, big mistake. <laughs> Huge. No, what I did was I sent her tickets to the, to the musical. Oh, did you? Yeah, and I said, when she comes, don't let her in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In your face, tummy rumble. Take that. <laughs> Well, the licences and the speeches are all going to happen in the next few yes. hours. We'll get dive into it um, tomorrow with uh, what so that means. So 2027 they're talking about. Oh, starting. I can't right? wait. Most likely 28, I reckon, now, <laughs> okay, because they sure. want to make sure this stadium... Can I come filled. back for that? You can, yes. you can, Stephen. They're talking about having a stadium with a roof so you can go and perform there. He's very <gasps> so excited, Sean. Sure. Look, the nipple's up. <laughs> I'm the mood boom. He's very excited. Anyway, super news for all the Tasmanians out there. Exciting time. Sean Sport is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.